you have been served, Doug Ford. Now, obviously, this is in a reference to Doug Ford a few months ago wanted everybody to stay indoors and bake cherry cheesecake. I, I guess you're taking the Premier's advice. There you go. That's right. We have a cheesecake for you, Doug. We would love to serve it to you. In jail. In, in jail. Yeah. David Menzies for Rebel News here in Toronto. And folks, before I get to my story, please, if you can, go to journalistdefensefund.com. Sometimes we need lawyers, sometimes we need bodyguards, but it's worth it when it comes to bringing you the other side of the story. Well, wow, Ford Nation, or did I say Ford Nation? Not anymore. Yahoo Nation is more energized than ever as Premier Doug Ford continues to shut down more parts of the economy, the Ontario economy, uh, rage is taking lease in the land. I'm at Young Dundas Square. You can see there is a huge turnout of people that are, well, they're quite frankly, they're pissed by how things are going. And you can understand the frustration just a few days ago. None other than the World Health Organization stated that lockdowns of the economy is not the way to go to eradicate this virus. They've done a flip-flop. So why is ostensibly a conservative premier locking down the economy? A, a premier that ran on the campaign slogan, Ontario open for business back in 2018. Well, as the saying goes, it's a dog eat dog world out there and I'm wearing milk bone underwear. Now, you know, I'm a little averse to dogs these days. I got chewed up by one last month, sir, but what is the story of this incredible canine mask? Well, this is the only mask that I could wear because you have to wear masks in Canada. So I decided to wear this one. I said all to police officers in the Canada and Quebec, stop doing all the stuff you're doing. We don't give ticket to those people. Do not enter in, the, in their home. This is illegal, guys. You know, it's funny, here's a gathering of thousands of people in downtown Toronto. Where is the mainstream media when it comes to covering this? Why are they AWOL? Aren't we just in front of their uh, uh, central headquarters and they're completely ignoring everything that's going on since we started gathering in uh, March? I think you're the only media coverage that actually came and covered the truth. We've been coming almost every single week since late April, Abs absolutely. I but, but I mean, why is it that they have chosen not to cover this is it because the narrative being espoused by you and the other people here that's not their narrative so we're no. simply going to black it out they're getting the uh they're getting direction from up above to spread the fear and all they're talking about cases we have over 400 hospitals in Ontario and there's only 30 to 50 hospitalized uh, people in ICU so they're they're just really narrative is to spread the fear and we got uh I think we have to flatten the fear you know, it, 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 and it's funny too because again on the media angle, Doug Ford is so chummy with the mainstream media and just a few years ago when they were harassing his brother, the late great Rob Ford, he had nothing but, you know, wicked words for the mainstream media. Now he's all chummy with them. What happened to Doug? What happened to Doug? I don't know. I think he ate too many of those uh, cherry cheesecakes. <laughs> too many cherry cheesecakes, Dougie. <laughs> and now with the gyms closing, wow, this looks like a prescription for disaster. Uh, I believe it is. I believe it is for sure. You have been served, Doug Ford. Now, obviously, this is in a reference to Doug Ford a few months ago wanted everybody to stay indoors and bake cherry cheesecake. I, I guess you're taking the Premier's advice. There you go. That's right. We have a cheesecake for you, Doug. We would love to serve it to you. In jail. In, in jail. Like, what industry wants to locate in Ontario right now? It's crazy what's happening right now. Under the guise of, of, of health, they're taking our freedoms away. And the CDC keeps moving the goalposts. Wait, and what's with Trudeau's uh, magician beard? <laughs> like, I guess he wants to disappear. I don't know. Or he's going to pull a rabbit out of that. Yeah, if he's going to shut down this and that and this, how about how about shut down the boring f speeches? So, sir, um, what brings you out to this uh, incredible, I guess, sign of um, or demonstration of civil disobedience? Because in theory. Um, all of these people are liable for an $880 fine. It's a social 
Uh, it's an outdoor gathering of more than 25 people. The organizers are liable for a $100,000 fine maximum. So, uh, well, first of all, are you worried about getting a ticket today? Oh, well, I'm not worried. Um, I haven't been wearing masks since the beginning. Uh, I'm just ready to, uh, to protest. I'm ready to fight for my freedom. And uh, tickets don't scare me. The government doesn't scare me. And I'm fighting for my children. You know, and, you know I got to say, um, we have a huge uh, battalion, if you will, of police. Here comes a mounted unit even. And um, I got to tip my hat to the cops because I think they're doing a good job. They're not clamping down on citizens' right to um, protest, to exercise their freedom of expression. Uh, but rather, they're actually giving the people an escort right up Young Street. Yeah, yeah I believe that uh, defunding the police is just the wrong idea. Uh, they're here to protect us. Sure, there's some bad ones, but the majority of the time they're good and they're here to defend us and protect us and for justice, right? I don't know why they're doing this, if they just got a little grip on power and they don't want to give it up or what it is, but this is complete nonsense. It's killing more people than the actual virus itself and yeah, we've had enough. You know, sir, that's one of the questions we've been asking. Doug Ford, who said uh, Ontario opened for business in 2018, says he's got to close down the economy because of what the medical authorities are saying. But like your sign says, the World Health Organization, even they are saying this is the wrong way to go. What gives? I'll tell you what gives. Before COVID, Trump's popular or Ford's popularity was hovering between 30 and 40 percent. Now it's between 70 and 80 percent. So he's going to keep this going as long as he can because he likes the increased popularity so uh, but I, I don't understand he is saying we are beholden to the medical and scientific advice and here we have the world health organization itself saying wrong way to go not just the world health organization but 30,000 doctors who signed the barrington declaration 20 leading experts at toronto hospitals the only doctor he's listening to is dr williams who has not practiced medicine in 29 years He's a bureaucrat, not a doctor. So what is the agenda here if this is not about public health and public safety? It's about maintaining Ford's popularity. He doesn't know how to get out of this now. He knows he screwed up, but he knows there's no way for him to get out of it without getting blamed for it. So he's up in the air and we're the ones getting screwed. Do you think it's working? I mean, uh, it, the polls, if you believe them, show his popularity rising. Yes. The mainstream media, which he used to despise, love him now, and he seems to love them back. So it's so bizarre, isn't it? Well, it's not really bizarre. I mean, Joseph Goebbels taught the lesson that fear controls people. So he's scared enough people into believing his crap. I mean, when it comes to the media coverage of this virus, sir, uh, I don't see any mainstream media here. Of course, they're getting paid by the government. You know, the newspaper bailout, CBC getting one point five billion, but this little radio station that dares say the truth, um, it's like they're being legislated out of business. I mean, I think this is despicable. It's the only one. We have only one who speaks. It's Radio X in Quebec. Uh, Jeff Fillion and Moret. They're the only two guys, and for us people from the population, this is our radio, the radio of the people. But uh, you see, they want to uh, cut them. I had a business that made cheesecake. And thank you to Doug. I would love to serve you with handcuffs because you bankrupt me. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. You were actually bankrupted, ma'am. We do weddings. We do weddings. When he says you can have 10, 50 people in your thing, you can't do weddings. Oh, but wait a minute. I thought back in August, didn't Premier Doug Ford go to... Uh, Stanley Chow's wedding, and I didn't see masks, I didn't see social distancing. He seems to think he's above the law, but you know what? Doug Ford, I have a message for you. You were elected to represent the people of this province, and you work for us. We do not work for you, and we do not take your tyrant rules. I think people understand that these lockdowns are ridiculous, and uh, I'm very pleased. That's people that just want to work, and uh, they don't want to have any subsidies from the government. They just want to work and do their life, and we are respecting people who wear masks. I'm respecting the pe people who wear masks, but I don't want any government to impose to, impose to me any behavior. What brings you to this protest today? Well, uh, the reason why uh, I'm here is because, let's just say, if, if the, the great people from the Church of God can come here, you know, uh, you know, put milking cows aside for a day, put, uh, you know, prayer, you know, aside for the day, and come here and speak their minds, then, then that, that, encourages, that should encourage everyone who has any devotion to God to, to you know, be with the real people.
And of course, the Church of God, we're talking about the uh, uh, place of worship in Elmer, Ontario. And you might remember, folks, they were amongst the first to stand up against these lockdown orders of places of worship. And this was a pastor who was organizing his sermons in a parking lot with the windows rolled up. Absolutely nothing uh, wrong with that. Um, meanwhile, just like 300 meters away from that church, there's a no frills store <laughs> where, store. and liquor stores. That goes to show you that it's setting the precedent as to what you really should be doing on a Sunday. Um, I miss making money. I miss dancing. I don't have a pole in my house, so uh, let us work. Well, folks, what have we learned from the latest Yahoo Nation protests? Well, as much as it might perturb Doug Ford, uh, these Yahoos aren't going anywhere. As you can see, their numbers are growing. And uh, far from being arrested or given $880 fines, the police, to their credit, are actually escorting their protest parade up Young Street. Doug, listen to the people. Remember that slogan, for the people? Listen to them. They want to go to restaurants. They want to work out at gyms. They don't want to be in a basement baking cherry cheesecake. The time for that is over. For Rebel News, I'm David the Menzoid Menzies. My boy, my boy. <laughs> well, folks, bringing you the other side of the story does not come cheap. Sometimes we need security in order to bring you the other side of the story because there are forces afoot that don't want us to bring you the other side of the story. If you can, please go to journalistdefensefund.com. That's journalistdefensefund.com and make a donation.